28 governments, including South Korea, the U.S., U.K., and China, have jointly declared they will pursue safe and human-centric use of artificial intelligence. It was the first document of its kind signed at a summit hosted by the U.K. President Yoon suk is set to attend the forum virtually and also co-host a follow-up summit next year. Our top office correspondent, Oh Soo-young, has the details. Leading IT nations have signed the world's first global declaration on ensuring artificial intelligence is developed safely and responsibly, recognizing that the technology could pose catastrophic risks to humanity. At a summit on AI safety held in Southeast England on Wednesday, 28 governments, including South Korea, the UK, the United States and China, penned the so-called Bletchley Declaration, calling for AI to be designed, developed and used in ways that are human-centric, trustworthy and responsible. The two-day summit brings together governments, politicians, scientists and tech executives to address growing concerns over the unknown and potentially destabilizing impact of AI across societies. You know, we can't expect these companies to mark their own homework. Now, that has to be the responsibility of governments. That's why I've created the AI Safety Institute here in the UK, which I hope can be a globally leading institute to research the safety of these models. Without oversight and management, governments fear the fast-evolving technology poses substantial risks to individual privacy, safety and national security. In particular, the declaration underscores the danger of AI systems stirring further cyber attacks, disinformation campaigns and even the development of biological weapons. The governments agreed to work together to identify shared concerns and build scientific understanding of the risks in discussions going forward. They also endorsed the pro-innovation and proportionate governance that maximizes the benefits while considering the risks associated with AI. President Yoon Seok-yeol will attend day two of the discussions to share ways to cooperate globally to establish an international organization and new digital norms to promote the use of AI for human development. Before joining the summit, Yoon spoke to a local broadcaster on Thursday, reiterating his views on AI governance. AI digital technologies 자유와 민주주의를 훼손하고 억압하는 쪽으로 쓰여서는 안 된다는 그런 원칙을 가져야 되고 우리도 그래서 그 AI 디지털 시대에 우리가 어떻게 해야 하는지에 관한 대한민국 차원에서의 권리 장전을 발표를 했고 Over the past year, Yoon has stressed the need to create a new digital order and establish appropriate governance over technology in his keynote speeches at New York University, Sorbonne University and the UN General Assembly. His office says South Korea and the UK have agreed to co-host a mini virtual summit in six months' time, ahead of the second AI safety summit this time next year. Oh Seung, Arirang News.